Hi everyone, my name is Drew. It's a snowy day here in Ohio, and today I wanted to give you a look at this very rare Greek New Testament that I managed to get my hands on. This is a UBS Greek New Testament Reader's Edition with the textual notes uh, published by Crossway. Um, and this one is in top grain leather. This is a really rare edition. You can't really find it anywhere on the internet. So it's of uh, the, the UBS fourth edition. The most recent edition of the UBS Greek New Testament is the fifth. Um, but this one was published uh, in 2011. I don't know if you can see that, but it's published in 2011 by Crossway. And it's in a top grain, a black top grain leather. So just giving you a look at the exterior there. You can see the gold on the spine. It's got a red ribbon. What's really unique about this text block is that it has uh, gold page edges and rounded corners, um, which is really hard to find in a Reader's Greek New Testament. There's really only a couple text blocks that are going to get you that. There's the uh, premium version of the Tyndale House Readers, which is out of print, and there's this one, which is also out of print all the way from 2011. So these are really hard to get your hands on. I found this one in a Bible Facebook group in a... a uh, listed together with a bunch of other Greek New Testaments, and I just bought the lot for a really good price, and I was really happy to get this and wanted to show it off. So what you've got here is this uh, top grain leather. It's really thick. You can see there. It's reasonably flexible, but not a whole lot. And then this liner here is uh, vinyl. So you can see that, and it's just a paste down. It's not edge line or anything like that. And it, it lies reasonably flat, but it, it doesn't do too great. It is in pretty much new condition as far as I can tell. There's some issues like uh, cosmetically up here, there's some bumps on the leather and a few scratches on the long edge of the gold there. But in terms of the inside, I don't think this was ever really significantly used. I haven't found any markings and it is really clean. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this text. It doesn't lie super flat. You can tell we're here in the middle and it's still uh, kind of bulging upward. And as you get toward the edges, it's going to want to uh, snapshot. Um, I don't know if that'll improve or not because this is not very flexible here, this joint at all, um, just due to the paste down construction and the thick leather. But man, look at this huge text with a really nice font. You've got your cited uh, Old Testament references here in the margin, which is a nice wide margin. That has to be almost an inch of margin right there. Um, all the words that are used fewer than 30 times are glossed down here at the bottom. And you do also have some kind of rudimentary textual, text critical notes um, that are at least giving you an idea of some of the major variants. And this is the fourth edition of the UBS, which means there's going to be some differences between this text and the most recent critical editions, but those are mostly in the general epistles and there's not too many of them. So this is going to be a really good reader's edition. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do this one, if I'm going to use it for my own study, or I could use it as a rebinding text block because it is really rare. Uh, if I could find the right buyer, I'd be willing to sell it. I think there's probably someone out there who really wants this exact Bible. Uh, I don't know who it is. But I was just really excited to get my hands on this, and I wanted to show it off uh, a little bit since it is so rare. I've really searched the Internet for any other copy of this. You can find some that are in a red, genuine leather, um, but this is the only one i found that's in this really nice, grainy, top grain leather. So I was excited to get my hands on it. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this Bible as much as I have. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.